What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jedi Patrol. Today we're going to do the full review of the in-game Captain America, the D23 exclusive. Let's do it. That's right guys, welcome back to the full review of Captain America in-game. D23 exclusive Hot Toys figure. I figured we'd throw it in a light box today, give you guys a pretty up close look at the accessories and uh, everything this thing has to offer because I'm telling you right now, it is, I know everybody's saying the original, the release of in-game cap is gonna be the definitive in-game cap or the definitive cap in general, but this one has a lot to offer and I think if you're able to pick this up, then you absolutely should give it a shot. So the most commented concern of this guy was the head was too small. It doesn't make sense, the proportions are out of whack. And I can tell you in person, I, I gotta disagree with that. I think uh, part of this, you know, you guys are seeing all these photos, you gotta be mindful of it when you see blogger photos, you see just photos in general of action figures. You gotta take into account the lighting, lighting and shadows. Shadows are gonna be pushed forward, uh, further back in the photo. Lighting's gonna be bring forward, so stuff that's brighter is gonna look larger, uh, which is, you saw the photos earlier, you saw like the chest piece, the scale mail looked really, really big, the chest, uh, so it made the head look a little smaller, and honestly, that's just lighting tricks. Uh, you've got lens distortion, you gotta be mindful of those if you're using a, a telephoto lens or a wide angle lens you got distortion on that front and then of course you have the angle in which the photo was taken so you got to take all those into account and uh, i know the hot toys community loves to pick at photos and say this figure you know has this issue this one has this issue but when, when you get it in hand you're going oh it looks fantastic in hand and we see it all the time on the forums in the facebook groups we see that comment a lot and so you, i want you to take those factors into account when making decisions so i'll tell you in hand in person I think the proportions are correct. Now, with a caveat, anytime you have a helmeted sculpt, it's gonna be more compact than an, an unhelmeted sculpt. So that's why I brought out Infinity War Cap right off the bat so we can put that to rest. Infinity War Cap, obviously he's not wearing a helmet. He's got hair, which appears to make his head look larger than it is. However, in reality, it's really not, it's about the same size as all it is. So the difference between uh, unhelmeted sculpt and a helmeted sculpt, I think the proportions are just fine. And while we've got Infinity War cap up here, we might as well go ahead and take a look at the second issue you guys had, which was the size of the star on the chest. So let's take, obviously Infinity War cap didn't have one. And I will tell you based on photos of the actual film, I went back and watched in game, watched the end scene where he's you know, got the hammer and everything. And I can tell you the star is a little smaller in proportions to the film. However, there is absolutely no reason you should pass on this figure just because the star is a slightly smaller star than it should be in the film. I think that's kind of a silly reason to pass on a figure personally, because honestly, when you're not up close and personal with these figures all the time, I know I've got them in displays. They're kind of just out, you know, 10 feet, six feet, eight feet away, whatever they are. You can't tell that it's that tiny, uh, you know, that far away. So I, you know, don't make a judgment call on that. I think there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Now, this is not the full comparison video. We are going to do a comparison video between this cap and some other caps, but obviously right off the bat, you can see the differences in color between Infinity War and Endgame. The Endgame on the right, you can see the colors, the brightness of the whites and the reds versus the muted colors on the Infinity War one. So just right off the bat, I thought you want to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and look at this scale mail. So right off the bat, I will tell you that the scale mail right here is an extra rubber piece on top of the outfit here. So be mindful of that. It doesn't really affect the articulation at all because it is above the ab crunch. So not a problem with that, but it is an extra piece that just molded on there and uh, attached. It's not like just built into the actual suit. After all these years, we finally got capped with the scale mail where he yelled out Avengers a symbol, which I don't know about you guys, but I know the theater went crazy. Where I was when he yelled that out, it was crazy. I, it was just amazing. So I'm kind of nerding out that we actually have this figure so soon, where the other figure, we got to wait a whole nother year. But I have a feeling since this one's already out, we, uh, we're going to get that one a little sooner. Now, taking a look at the head sculpt, it is pretty much the exact same head sculpt we got from Civil War, which is not a bad thing because Civil War was a very good head sculpt. I don't think there's any problem with that. However, in this release, we do not get the updated Chris Evans uh, head sculpt, which is kind of a bummer. I guess that's what we're waiting on. We might have to wait six, eight months on that one, but 
whatever it is, uh, we'll be jumping up and down when it actually shows up. I think they're going to nail it. But it does have the interchangeable faceplate. So here's the extra faceplate. Got the grimacing faceplate that we saw in Civil War. And it just connects with uh, magnets. Very easy to do. And we've all seen that before. But if you're new to a Captain America, um, they do a very good job making that work. Moving down to the shoulders, we have the Avengers logo back. Now, if you remember Infinity War, we didn't have an Avengers logo on the shoulder anywhere. And they've added it back here because now they are back. They are a team. They are the Avengers. And this is looking amazing. Moving around to the back again, this is pretty much, again, guys, this is the exact same suit we saw in Infinity War. Different coloring. It's not as dark and muted as that one, but it is pretty much the exact same suit. Moving on down, taking a look at the belt. It is a different belt than the Infinity War cap, so it is different there. We'll kind of compare those later, but it is different. It has different badges and whatnot. It's The coloring's great. I don't think there's any issue with that. The, the sewing, the cut and sew is amazing on this one, so again, they did a good job on that. One thing to keep in mind, this is pretty much the exact same knee pads as we got as Infinity War and you want to be mindful of this guy because on the edges it is not connected to the actual fabric of the suit so you want, you don't want to get that caught on something and rip one of those off. They're pretty uh, pliable but you know you want to be careful about that if you're moving them around. Moving on down to the boots it is a different paint app on the boots. Uh, this one's brown and black. We've got brass buckles on there class, uh, connecting the boot together whereas on the Infinity War cap they're all black with silver buckles. It does have the same uh, articulation wise is going on right here where you can actually has a separate piece uh, if we can get right there it actually has a separate piece right there so you actually can get some pretty decent uh, ankle pivot out of that figure and you know as long as you can get the legs spread open to uh, get some dynamic poses you're gonna have the feet flat on the ground which is awesome just showing off a little bit of the articulation of this guy again it's a little bit limited by the suit but he actually will get posed you know decently you see some of the footage uh, either in the beginning of this or at the end of the video I can't remember where I put it you can see that ab crunch goes pretty well you want to be mindful of this because you don't want to pull that out right there the back of the pants you want to get that make sure that stays tucked in uh, it is attached so you, you know you get a work on that if you do actually get it out uh, but the ab crunch is actually pretty good you actually have a decent knee bend you're gonna have a double jointed knee bend right there the pants will absolutely limit you on being able to get them to sit down so uh, that's about as far as high as I'm willing to get the pants to go and uh, without ripping them or whatever uh, as far as backwards goes again uh, not a whole lot without some maneuvering so if you you know foots with it a little bit have some time have some patience with it I think you get some good poses out of it but as far as that goes that's that as far as the arms go you do have a double jointed uh, elbow here however as you can see right here the fabric material gets in the way so you will be mindful of that and if you leave that material stuck together for too long uh, it will actually uh, adhere to itself and cause you a problem one thing to note on the head sculpt it is a separate piece because it is a removable mouth plate here you can actually have a pretty good look down we'll rotate them around to the side for you. pretty good look down and up is not too bad so you can articulate it at the neck and also here at the jawline so there's two separate uh, joints there you can move them up and down there so you're gonna have some pretty good range of motion as far as articulation on the upper half of this figure goes d23 cap comes with this display base now I don't know if this is gonna be the standard base for Avengers Endgame but I think we got a pretty good possibility that this is it or you know, maybe it's the D23 exclusive. Can you imagine the Iron Man version of this one? That one's going to be sick. Can't wait. The War Machine version with the arc reactor. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait. I hope it's something just like this because I think it looks fantastic on the shelf. So we do have seven hands for this figure. One of them still sitting on the figure holding the shield. And I've got the other ones laid out right here. Uh, but we've got a, a left hand right here for holding the locket and the, the compass with uh, Peggy's photo in it, which is incredibly tiny incredibly tiny uh, we've got a right and a left fisted hand going on here as well let's see if we can get you to focus there for me and there we go and you can see the paint apps on there are very well done i mean this is typical hot toys paint apps there's nothing crazy going on there we've got an open hand here for he's kind of uh, signaling kind of bracing to go uh fight thanos and some other baddies and then we've got the normal cap pointing hand which we've seen a bunch of times and then of course we've got the other hand here for holding whichever weapon you want and of course if you want to put the scepter in here the, the uh, shield or uh, Mjolnir then all you gotta do is bend these back and you can stick them in there pretty easily so taking a look at the accessories we're gonna get with the normal release then we'll look at the d23 exclusive accessories we get with this figure but this is what we're gonna get we're gonna get a regular shield that's put together and I will tell you the shield is plastic it is not die cast I I wish it was diecast however 
It's not, and maybe the extra uh, savings in weight will make the posability a little better. Uh, but just taking a look at it right up close, you can see the weathering on it, the paint apps on it are fantastic. This is a solid, solid piece. I, I you know, I like it. I like it quite a bit. I don't think we're having any issues with flaking on this figure. I think it's going to be just fine. Obviously, underneath, you've got this system right here where they got a buckle here, and this is actually still on the hand uh, on the table. Um, I wish, I know everybody's wishing that it would have been magnetic, just like Age of Ultron, but that would not be screen accurate. So uh, it's not, so you just got to deal with that. But I can tell you right now, just paint apps on that one are fantastic. And of course, we get the broken shield after he's fought Thanos. You're going to get these broken pieces. Now, these are pretty amazing. However, however, I know somebody's going to, there's the extra hand. I know somebody's going to say, oh, it's broken the wrong way. And to be quite honest with you, it is. It is absolutely broken the wrong way uh, when he's holding it. So he's holding it like this. It's going to be broken vertically. Uh, instead of horizontally like it was in the film. Now, you got to give Hot Toys a little slack. This is a brand new release figure. They may not have known which way it was going to break, or maybe Marvel sent this over to them, and uh, then they changed their mind. So I don't, you know, whatever it was, it comes with slack. So maybe in the uh, release, the main release, we'll actually get this going the right direction. However, it is not, I repeat, it is not a reason to not buy this figure because... It's just, it's just not. So we do have that piece. We also have these other pieces. Again, they are plastic. They're not die cast, but they're well done. You know, they're well done. And if you put them together, they uh, they somewhat put together the whole shield, which is a pretty neat touch. And obviously we've got the biggest moment of the entire film when he actually picked up the hammer. And this thing is pretty much the same hammer we saw from Road War Thor. Uh, it does have the light up feature. So if you've got the batteries going on the side, which I do have them on already, you twist this and uh how there, there it goes you can see it kind of light up it does look pretty fantastic i think the detail on it's awesome and i pretty much always put the batteries in my figure just because i like them but look i mean it just looks fan i just love this thing it's awesome so i really needed a hammer because uh, i didn't own one and then of course then we got this piece right here which i missed uh from the civil war version of this piece where you actually can connect the, if I can get you to focus, that would be amazing, uh, where you actually can connect the uh, shield to uh, here and then attach this to the back of cap. And just like I said earlier, the tiny piece, this compass locket, it is absolutely, it's, it's, if I put it in my hand, you would lose it. It is just so flipping small. It is crazy. Uh, I will tell you, it is nicely done. The paint apps on it are great. It does open and close. However, it's so small that, uh, you know, I'm definitely would end up losing it. So it's going to stay in the box because I just, you know, it's just too flipping small. I honestly think it's out of scale small. I think it's too small to actually make sense. Now, taking a look at the accessories you get with a D23 exclusive. This is it. You get Loki Scepter, you get the Tesseract, and you get some lightning effects that are having a hard time showing up on camera right now because they're very bright. However, let's take a look at this Scepter. This thing is absolutely flipping gorgeous i mean just look at it. now the paint apps on this thing are fantastic i don't think there's any issues with this whatsoever the light going through here it looks fantastic as well the shading going on i mean i think they absolutely nailed it like they always do this it's hot toys for you know that's just what they do but i really really like this piece super excited about it i would really like to have a uh, another version from in game where this is actually in a suitcase uh, where he's carrying it around. I think that'd be pretty cool uh, to have as well. But there's the scepter. Then, of course, we have the Tesseract, which is also, you know, see if we can get you to focus here, buddy. You can do it. There we go. So we actually have the Tesseract here as well. Again, we've seen this before. This is nothing new. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. It's just a clear square cube. Uh, then we have these lightning effects that are not have, were not teased with the... Uh, regular release of the in-game figure. So we have this one for Mjolnir, which is actually pretty neat. Kind of dig that. I can see a lot of people wanting this. That's a cool piece to have. And then this one actually goes around Cap's hand. Uh, you pull his uh, hand off, put this around the wrist, and you've got that as well. So those are the exclusive pieces for the D23 in-game Cap. And just for good fun, I figured it'd be fun because the D23 exclusive does not come with the new Chris Evans head sculpt. I thought I'd throw the Age of Ultron head sculpt on there because that's really the one we got right now. And I'm telling you right now, this one is, uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to the new sculpt for Chris Evans. And I'm hoping they knock it out of the park because that would just make this figure to be the ultimate of ultimates of Captain America figures because it, it would be absolutely beautiful to have this guy in your collection. 
So just to recap on this figure, if I had to give you a rating on it, I think this is a nine out of 10. I think the only thing that would really make this thing better is if we had the updated Chris Evans head sculpt. However, we talked about some issues in the beginning of the video. We talked about the star on the emblem on the being too small. We talked about the head sculpt being too small. And I, honestly, guys, I don't think those are anything that should stop you from buying this figure. It's absolutely beautiful. Come back tomorrow. We're gonna look at some comparisons with some other Captain Americas. This guy right there is gonna be absolutely amazing on the shelf, even with the shield being broken in the wrong direction. Again, I don't think it flipping matters. If you are able to get this guy, which again, I think there's gonna be another release of him uh, very soon. So be, you know, pay attention to the groups and the forums and Facebook and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and if I find out exactly, I will post it in our Facebook group, which if you haven't joined already, link is in the description below, Jetta's Patrol. And obviously follow us on Instagram because there'll be piles of photos on this guy. While you wait on the in-game figure to come next year, you can enjoy this one. And if you were able to get this one, the D23, congratulations. It is a beautiful, beautiful figure. But guys, as always, click what you like. We'll see you next time.